Welcome back, Theme Park Wizard, and Disney just keeps rolling out the Avengers Campus hype train today. We have lots of new information, including the addition of Avengers Campus to the park map. Check that on on the Disneyland app. It looks great. It goes into lots of detail of what's there. It shows you how big it is. It's only six acres, which is about half the size of Cars Land. But it has almost as many attractions as Cars Land as Mission Breakout and um, Web Slingers. And there'll be plenty and plenty of shows. Hopefully, the shows will come fast and furious after California lifts most of its restrictions on June 15th. I'm hoping by 4th of July, Avengers Camps will have at least its main, its main Captain America, Black Widow, Taskmaster show. I hope we have that one. But also... They'll leave some brand new pictures of nighttime Avengers Campus because the parks are becoming, they're opening at night now. They currently close at 9 p.m. Um, and then Disneyland's going to open at 8 a.m. and close at 11 p.m. starting July 1st, which is awesome. Those are basically almost normal hours. Obviously, it's 8 a.m. to midnight, but a lot of the times they closed also at 11 p.m. And California Mission is going to open from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m., which is pretty typical, usually 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., but... Sometimes it closed at 9 p.m. anyway. So, pretty normal hour starting on July 1st. So, we can see Avengers Campus at nighttime. And these two lovely pictures of web singers at nighttime look gorgeous. And I like how, again, it really looks very campus, college campus style. And it works with the name, of course, Avengers Campus. And it's very important that this has a single rider line. Because even though it has virtual queues, it still has a single rider line, which I'm not sure how that's going to work, actually. Hmm. Very interesting. Um, oh, yes. Also, by the way, today Disney confirmed that Web Singers will, in fact, have a virtual queue. This attraction, Pandemic or Not, was originally looked like originally planned to have a virtual queue because Disney added a whole section for virtual queues on their app right after Avengers Campus like was announced. So... Um, definitely was anticipating a virtual queue for this attraction, but uh, looks great, and um, I can't wait to ride it. Um, but I really wonder how that single rider line will work with the virtual queue. It may be because you do still have to wait in the line, there still is a pretty extensive outdoor queue, even with the virtual queue. So maybe you, if you're a single rider, you have to get a virtual queue and then. You can just cop in the vir- single rider line when your virtual boarding pass is called, maybe. Here's Pim Test Kitchen. Looking great. And it uh, and uh, looks fantastic. And I can't wait to try all that delicious food in Pim Test Kitchen. I'll link that video to the top right corner uh, for that. If you want to see what food is there, because it looks absolutely delicious i absolutely cannot wait for the pim test kitchen food and it looks great at night as well i love those doors it looks like you're entering into like the quantum tunnel um, which is super cool as well and uh yeah it should be pretty cool the pim test kitchen is obviously the main eatery and they'll have expanded seating in the hyperion theater as well for you to sit So that is cool as well. And last but not least, one of my fa- most intriguing areas is the Doctor Strange um, Sanctum Sorting, where the Doctor Strange Jedi Sh- Training Academy like show will be airing. And there'll also be a walkthrough attraction to just explore the ruins, the ancient ruins of Los Angeles in 1945 or whatever they describe it as. This area looks gorgeous, and um, Disney previously showed off. I forgot what the cube or the hologram, color cube, or whatever they're calling it. I forgot what, that, what it's officially called, but it looks amazing at nighttime. So, I'm really excited to be checking this out. I'll be there June 6th. I'll be checking out during the daytime. Not sure about the nighttime, but I'll definitely be doing a live stream from the nighttime eventually. What do you guys think of these brand new Avengers Campus photos? Are you excited for Avengers Cam- Campus' debut? And are you excited for Web Slingers? And what do you think about that upcharge for Web Slingers? I talked about that in my live stream. I'll link that above in the top right corner as well. 
Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. And also, if you really like this channel and want some exclusive access to early videos, become a theme park wizard membership. Click that join button right on the bottom, right above the description box. There's various perks for different levels. You can read read all about it in the descriptions that they provide. And as always, have a fantastic day.